We might need a few tries, but let's just try for oh. the intro. Stop eating! <laughs> <laughs> you need to put that in the video. I can do this, Reg. Just... I can watch, ready? I can do. <laughs> hey YouTube, the Atlantis LA Mexico cruise is coming up just in a few days, and today we're gonna give you some tips to make sure you have a great boarding day ahead of you. All throughout this month, I'll be making a lot of videos with advice specific for this cruise, so make sure you go down the description and check them out. Today we have Jeremy, and we have David, and they're gonna help me give you some, well, not tips, but they're gonna say things. Just the tips. Just the tips. My mom always said, if it's just the tips, it's never just the tips. Why is your mom telling you that? Joey's gonna give you some tips. Yes, Joey will give you just a tip. I don't know how to edit this. <laughs> just don't, mess don't, don't, just leave it. Sense, sense everything. Are we still doing the sponsor video? We're not sponsored. Okay. I Dude, already told you. Lace, please. We're not Yay! sponsored by Lace. Copyright, copyright. <laughs> so first of all, you should have received the cruise vacation guide. It's a PDF that has a ton of information about the cruise, and that was sent out last week, about a week before the cruise. As always, Atlantis in a Does time. Tell you the I didn't see the mention of that in oh. the guide, but I didn't read every word. <laughs> it's on the map. The <laughs> is your room. It's the one next to your room. It's my mouth. <laughs> in the mouth. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh. Don't do that! <laughs> Anyways, so the cruise vacation guys got a ton of information about a lot of different things on the cruise. Mm -hmm. I don't think you have to read every single page and word that's in there, but at least have a flip through like the first few pages. I think that's where all the important information, such as what time the ship sets sail. So that's important to know because you need to make sure you get to the port on time. Otherwise, the ship doesn't wait for anyone. And if you're late, you're not going to be on the cruise. Entertainment shows what dance parties are on. And um, yeah, it's good to look at. I've actually never looked at it before. Because I have you guys. Because Joey and Lam would just be like, Hey, it's time to do this. Let's go, let's go. In the middle of the CBG, you find the entertainment schedule for each day. Because this is where they actually release the venues and the time for the entertainment, as well as the full entertainment lineup. Are there any shows that you already know that's going to be on this cruise? Patrick Hall oh, nice. is going to be the headliner for this cruise. Right. I think okay. he's on the Saturday. Two shows on two consecutive nights. Yep, perfect. See, and they read day. everything I don't. Yeah, well, some of that's us That's why I have you guys. Yay. And by this time, you should have already registered on Royal Caribbean's website or mobile app. There's oh, an online registration. Yet. There you go. Uh, That's why I'm giving you these tips and reminders because oops. there'll be some people like this idiot that don't do all the things they need to do before they get on the cruise. So it's the um the email with your number, right? And you should log on. Yes, so you should have got an email from Atlantis and it's got your Royal Caribbean specific reservation number, That's which right. is not the same as your Atlantis number. Yep. And it's also got a link to World Caribbean's website where you can yeah. start the online registration process. You need to do that online ahead of time. I think if you don't do it technically, they can take care of you when you show up at the port, but- It just it, saves time. It's it like just fun. saves so much time to do it in person. It's a lot clunkier because they've kind of made the whole process electronic. So just do it online uh, before you get to the port on day one. Um, I'm looking at Lamb because his eyes are turning. Why? But don't point out. Oh. No, are they? It's the chips that you're eating. It's the spicy jalapeno. If you put snacks or food in front of him, he won't stop eating them. No, no, I'm not, I like food. Feed foods. me. Uh, is there a Sunday machine? Why, I'm sure it? that if there is, your spidey sense will tingle and you will let us know. Something's a tingling. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Hope it doesn't mean you need to get checked out by the doctor. <laughs> so, uh, once you've checked with the cruise vacation guide and you register online with Royal Caribbean, the only other things to take care of right now are any packages that you might want to purchase in advance, like drinks packages, dining packages, or like the Wi-Fi package. I did a video on all the packages that you can buy. I'm gonna link it down in the description below so you can check that out. The final thing you gotta do is pack. You gotta pack for the cruise, uh, you know, your luggage, everything that you need. I also have a video for that. I'm gonna link it down below. I've got a packing checklist video with a checklist that you can copy and uh, use for yourself to make sure you don't miss anything. And I also got tips on things that I bring on every single cruise with me. Oh, there you go. Josh Sharps. I do bring Josh We bought yeah. yesterday for him. Plan which bags you are carrying on and which ones you're checking with the porter. Bags that you're carrying on, I would recommend you have your wall, the things you want for your door, your door decorations, your decorations. in there. And then your essentials, I guess your toiletries or whatever you think you need. Because sometimes the first day, your bag might be delayed. So I'll just put everything you want to have with you on your person 
in your carry-on? Oh yeah, three years ago, I think I got my luggage like 11 p.m. Like after the first so welcome party. Case. Here's what we mean by that. Uh, when you get to the port, when you pull up in a car and get dropped off, there are gonna be porters uh, curbside to take your bigger pieces of luggage in for you. Kind of sort of like when you check your luggage at the airline versus things you carry on. So any luggage you give to the porter, they will deliver it to your stateroom directly, but it takes them some time to do that. So you might not get that luggage you give to the porters until until sometime that evening. Usually it's early in the evening, but sometimes, you know, things can happen and it might be really delayed. On rare occasions, it might not be till like really late at night, like 11 yeah. p.m. or 12 a.m. So make sure you always have a carry-on bag that you don't give to the porters, you keep with you at all times. Toiletries, money, Medi passport, Medi identification, your wallet, electronics, medication, whatever. electronics, first day's change of clothes, anything yeah. that I wanna wear for the first day or first night. The door decorations, like my photos, and also the whiteboards and markers, I put that in my carry on as well. Also, everything goes through x-ray. So yes. keep an eye on the things you put in your luggage. Mm -hmm. My Ace. water gun is going into my carry on yeah. to show them that it's just bubble Yeah, solution. bubble machine. Yeah. So, so I always try to put that into my Be mindful that they will know what you're bringing on board. And I'll keep things sealed as well, just to make it easier. Yeah. Do you tip the orders? You meant to tip them. I'm from Australia, we don't tip. It's a customary thing in the US. Like a dollar a bag or something. And do you tip, do you tip the cleaners? Do you tip the cleaners? Oh, we I did. did the cleaners. We did. Yeah. yeah. By the way, we have our director in the uh, background. Carly Here's his photo. Directing. Yeah, here's his here's photo. Here's his photo. Oh, we'll take that we photo. We'll take that, that photo. photo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's back up a little bit and talk about um, how people can get to the port. So as a reminder, uh, we're gonna be selling out of the Port of Los Angeles, which is not in the city of Los Angeles, it's actually in the city of San Pedro, near Long Beach. Is that how you say it? San Pedro. Pedro. San Pedro. We need to, Pedro. Spend, we need to brush up on our Spanish. No hablo sí, español. Sí, sí, sí. mm. Por favor. Que pasa? Where's the daddy? No, why? Oh, why? Why, why? why daddy, why? why? <laughs> So most people are probably just gonna grab um, a Lyft or an Uber to oh get God, to the I port. Oh my God, I'm still eating those chips. Let me see how Yes, you eat, just have some chips. Oh no, no, I can't. Wait, hold on. I have bubble tea. <laughs> there was no sugar Should in there. Bubble tea? Bubble there was no bubble. sugar in there. This should be a sponsored video. It's not a sponsored video. This video needs to be sponsored by some bubble tea and some. And chips. When should people get to the port? Oh, early. What is early? 6 a.m.? When you check in, you put your time. They, oh, they right. ask you about the check-in time. David's absolutely correct. So, um, I'm not sure they still have that they on have the online. That. They have Are you that. sure? Yep. How do you know? Because I half checked in, but I didn't finish it. David's a really reliable friend. <laughs> that sounded so, sar so sarcastic. Because I was being sarcastic. Um, yeah, that's definitely not true. What do you think I sounded sarcastic? So the ship departs at 4 p.m. That's the time it's scheduled to like close up all the bridges and the doors and everything. Usually, you want to get there at least a full hour before that because once you get to the port, you gotta go through like the in-person check-in and like drop off your luggage security. and like security and, and do if all that. And there's a long line, that's a it's long It's kind of sort of the same as if you're gonna go catch a flight, the flight departs at 4 p.m. You can't get there at 4, you gotta get there like an hour before and that. And then after customs, it's like a 15 minute walk all the way onto the boat and then another 15 Not at this, this, this is a smaller port, so I don't no. think it's a 15 minute walk. Okay, maybe 10. I don't know how long the walk is. And then another 10 to your room, because you're waiting for the lift, and everyone's waiting for the lift with their luggage. Wow, you sound bitter as fuck. So I Wait, think how did I sound bitter? I don't know. Why are you bitter? Well, he you called me bitter. bitter. Oh, why? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you're just calling me bitter oh, because you <laughs> wanted to call me bitter? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's, it's, like... it's good content. Oh, okay. I'm starting a fight. Come on. Oh. I thought you watched oh, reality television. Okay, Christine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We've been watching a lot of uh, Selling Sunset. Sunset. Yeah, I'm Chris Shell. You're Chris. No, no, you're yeah. not. You can be Heather. I can be Heather. You, you can be yeah. Heather. I, I can be Heather. You can be Heather. Okay, so the cruise departs at 4 p.m. So get there like at the very latest at 3. But honestly, uh, when you check in on Royal Caribbean's website, try to go by the time you select. But if you don't make that time for me selected before, don't sweat it. But it's not something they enforce. The Probably latest I would get there is the 3. Is the absolute latest. I yeah, that's, that's like if you're running late. Don't try to show up at 3. I think showing up at like 1 or 2 will be much safer for you. And here's the thing, you know, when I get there, I like to get there a little early and get on the ship a little early because that gives me time to like Eat. settle into my room, unpack my stuff, put in my door decorations, and I still can make it in time for the sell away party. 
that's poolside okay. to watch the ship like yeah, yeah. Uh, sail away from the port. It's oh, not like a party so party. Because I would remember like the sunset. Yes. It's, like, yeah, yeah. So good. It's really yeah. so good. It's a, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's very selling chill. Sunset? Yeah. Selling, selling sunset. Yeah. And I remember like it's selling just sunset. like all of us like by the edge and we're just looking at the sunset, mm -hmm. taking yes. photos. Yeah. Great memory. Yeah. It's very very chill. Just have like a drink or two. It's not like a it's yeah. not like a party party. Like it's it's party. And once you actually get onto the physical ship, the first thing I'm gonna recommend you do is go straight to your stateroom because your key card is gonna be on your stateroom door and you wanna pick that up first. Just make sure like your room is okay, your key card is there. And then once you have your key card, then you can kind of sort of do other things like... Eight. Eight. Your first place you do is you drop off your stuff. And then you yeah. might say hi to your attendant, you introduce yourself to your attendant. If anything's wrong with the room, if you want to separate beds, you want to put them together, the room attendant, just yeah. let them know. I tip them for, because they're your, your, um, they're taking they care of you, you like the, the week. entire week. Yeah. yeah. Our first cruise together, I think we tipped in the very beginning, right? Yeah, we, we tipped we tip on the beginning of the yeah. end. I did beginning so, of the end. So well. they got the tips, they were super happy. Every day we were taken care of. Like yeah. they gave us extra well. towels, they gave us extra bed sheets, yeah. extra pillows. If Sometimes you, you get them. like extra chocolate and then towel animals. Yes. And they're always happy. Like the people who work on the cruise, they're like, oh, yeah. it's a gay cruise. They're, so they're, they're like super happy. Oh, Ooh. another thing. The first thing I would do is like, if you're traveling with your friend and you guys have like a room next to each other, open up the balcony. Oh yeah, if you've got a balcony. Um, if you have a balcony. Yeah, yeah, so like when we had Crack Avenue, like we had like 10 state rooms all with open balconies. It was a lot. We had that yeah. talk. That was, that was really fun. So yep. do that. Make sure you're connected to your friend. If you're comfortable with that, yep. Yeah, so uh, the front print is that not every single ship has balcony dividers that open. Most ships do, so your stateroom attendant will know for sure, and they also have the key. So if you are rooming adjacent to friends, you can fold back or remove that divider that separates the different balconies. Mm -hmm. So you can just walk over and be like, oh my god, they're having sex! Yeah. Will you be that shocked when your friends are having sex? I'm not. I would. Certain people. If I walked in you, into you having sex, I'd probably be like, ah! And then I'll, <laughs> and then I'll walk away, but it's like, I still get the surprise. You, you, you wouldn't, you'd just be like, oh. If they were having a Bible study, I'd be surprised. Well, that yeah, one time yeah. when I was coming back to our room, I didn't even need to see the room. I was five rooms down and I hear you guys screaming having sex. That's another way to warn your roommate. I'm gonna bleep oh that, yes. yeah, 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 that up, but yes. I'll bleep that up, but yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine oh months. my, go to the safety video. Oh yeah, so right? um, at oh, some point be before the ship sets sail, there's gonna be a safety briefing of some sort. We also talked about this in yeah. the other video, but yeah. let's repeat because this is gonna happen to you on the first day. Either they'll have everyone go down to what's called their muster stations, and it's gonna be information the uh, over the PA. It was like Studio B, right? It's different it, it, for it everyone. Different. Oh, okay, okay. It'll be a different location for, for everyone. Every... So this will just be an area for you to gather, and then either they'll do an in-person safety briefing that way, or because of COVID, they weren't doing in-person stuff. Alternatively, they might just uh, do the safety briefing while you're in your room over the PA system and via the TV that's in your statement. Jeremy, do you have uh, any other advice for our cruisers on boarding day? Well, it's, it's gonna be fun. Just relax. I remember my first cruise, I was actually really nervous but there's like nothing to be worried about. And especially this Halloween. What were you nervous smaller. about though? What do you think caused your nervousness? I think it's it's just like the fear of unknown. Like I've never been in a cruise ship party environment. It's like, so it's like something new me. and it's like yeah. out of your comfort zone And I remember maybe. when I first decided to go on the cruise, I was like, okay, you know, we did parties, but we, okay, we can always get away from it because it's like the venue. We can go back to the hotel. You can come and go. And if you want to run away, you can't really run away because you're on the the cruise. So that was my con part of the concern that made me worry. Oh, if I needed to take a break, you know, and you would you wouldn't be able to. Yeah, but it was it's so big. It's it, it I had no problem. But um, this cruise ship, is, uh, the LA one's a little a lot smaller, right? So yeah. you'll actually get to meet everyone, which. Right. You know, stay relaxed, talk to people, go with an open heart, and you know, you probably make open. a lot of friends. Open. That's what I heard. Okay. I'm sorry. Open heart. Mm. Open heart. <laughs> David, what advice would you give to our cruisers for boarding day? Vacation mode on. Leave all your dramas behind and just have fun on the boat. Is it a vacation though? I feel like it's harder than working. What do you mean? We need to sleep. What do you mean it's harder than work? What's harder? On your body. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think you can tire yourself up really easily on a cruise, but there's so much to do. Don't try to do everything because you're going to kill yourself. Sleep. Yeah. Remember to sleep. Yeah, like make time for sleep. If you feel tired, like go take a nap for like 
a power nap for like 30 minutes. Yeah. Like the ship is still there. Like no one's getting off the ship. Everything would still be there. Like an hour later when you wake up and have a chance to rest. What I do sometimes, so even if I'm not sleepy and I just need some downtime, I just go to my room and like watch videos. Just to have some alone time to like mentally recharge. Yeah, there's like a and library. Mentally, like, sometimes the library on board, there's just like, I have my iPad. Places. You can just go up to the, you know, see the stars at nighttime. Yeah, they're like all these areas it's that- It's quiet. I, 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 don't, I, not, I can't read when I'm on the bird. Oh, you don't have your contacts in? No. <laughs> just I can't see. <laughs> Those are all the tips that we have. I'm so glad that David and Jeremy were able to spare their time to give you some, well, I don't want to say advice, but they were able to have some words fall out of their mouth just for you. Extra words. Extra words. Just extra, <laughs> just, just, just filler for this video. Just filler, basically. Yeah. So you're probably packing, watching this video at the same time. So have fun. Actually, you know what I love to do when I'm packing for cruises? I like to watch the old uh, cruise videos that I have. Not the advice videos, but like the party Wait, videos. Of yourself? Of yours? Of myself. I mean, one of the reasons I started doing those party videos when I travel is just so that I have a memory of me going on that trip. Like, people take photos and they look at the photos, right? For me, is I do the video. And once you do one, cruise you'll learn so much and it's you, yeah, you, can learn, you so learn so much from your first okay. cruise so remember if you are on the cruise and you need help just find david no you're working i'm not so oh, oh yeah joey is a working yeah joey's gonna wear the, i'm you know, on vacation yeah. so i'm actually gonna be volunteering for team atlantis that means joey has to talk to he you. has to help you he has he's got no choice he so to talk to him because he needs to talk to you yeah we have options <laughs> he does oh my god <laughs> I'm, oh my god. I love helping people. <laughs> so yes, I'm going to be volunteering for Team Atlantis on this particular cruise. Uh, if you see me free for to say hi, I will have my Atlantis name tag on and be in the Atlantis um, uniform. Yep. Is time. it going to be Joey T? It just says Joey. Joey. Uh, again, there are more videos linked down below uh, with advice specifically for this cruise and just general gay cruise advice. Hope to see a lot of you on the upcoming LA Mexico cruise coming up in just a few days. But until next time, this is Jeremy. And this is David. And have I'm the best Joey. time. Enjoy your cruise. Bye bye, you too. Wanyan. What is the Wanyan? <laughs> ending ferry. Ending ferry. Ending ferry. Is that? Oh my, oh my god, god, this is so stupid. <laughs> We're gonna end the video. <laughs> G G G G baby 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 G G G G baby baby. Na 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 na. It's all gonna get cut out. Um, what I'm seeing, Girls' Generation. That's gonna get cut too. Yeah. You it's guys like, know Girls' Generation, right? G -G -G -G. They don't. I don't know how many K-pop fans I have. We're gonna get demonetized with it. Yeah, I get demonetized. Okay, fine. Because it sounds exactly the same. Daddy's gotta make money, okay? <laughs>